These men are getting ready to risk their lives. The second battalion, the Royal Anglian Regiment, is on a massive American-run base in Germany. Large parts of the area are used by the British Army. It's as real as it gets before actually being thrown into battle. This is Camp Jeroboa in Bavaria, which is being treated in exactly the same way as a frontline base would be in Iraq. I'm also being treated as an embedded journalist, right down to wearing the body armour. I'm living in the camp alongside B Company. They use one of the latest heavily armoured vehicles, the Mastiff. Sergeant Nathan Potter has served in Iraq and says training under operational conditions is very important. Uh, and being a lad from Leicester, you know, I take great pride in being a platoon sergeant in B Company. It, it's realistic, you know, you've got borders, you've got surrounding borders, you know, it's X amount of Ks away either side of you. Obviously with, with borders comes, you know, control, control measures, obviously not crossing borders, not entering other people's, you know, uh, but, uh, entering other people's countries. Anyone who, who's going into a like, place like Afghanistan and Iraq, you know, to say they're not scared or not, or not apprehensive, I think they'd be a liar. We all know what goes on out there. You know, they're not nice places, but at the end of the day, this is a job. And as an infantryman, you know, this is our bread and butter. Suddenly, there's an emergency. Tell boss. The base has been hit by a mortar bomb attack. Move back to my hard course, huh? The only people who knew this was going to happen are the military training staff who set up the surprise and the soldier who pretends to have been injured in the blast. Basically what happened there, uh, mortars landed into camp, casualties were taken uh, and those casualties were dealt with uh, in the camp. Uh, he, was, he was put into the back of the ambulance, taken to a an, uh, helicopter landing site uh, and taken back to the uh, me large medical centre facility. British forces in Iraq are still under fire from insurgents, often by rockets launched from a number of miles away. It's something these soldiers have to get used to. A market stall in Iraq? Well, no, we're still in Germany, with mock-up buildings and people acting as Iraqi civilians. It could almost be the location for a feature film. This town is set up to be the Iraqi port town of Umm Qasar, exactly the kind of terrain the 2nd Battalion, the Royal Anglian Regiment, may have to move into. It's incredibly realistic. When I came in today, I mean, as a, as a platoon commander in 2003, I was in Afghanistan, and coming into here, the feel, the buildings, the civilians on the battlefield, the music, the signs, it really does give you that atmos atmosphere that you could actually be in a country such as Iraq or Afghanistan which is invaluable training for the cultural aspect that we need to be aware of when we deploy to these countries. These men know it won't be long until they could be called into action. Training which feels like an actual conflict helps to reduce the shock of battle and save lives. As night falls, there's little time for sleep as yet another mission is planned. Tonight, they're still armed with blank firing weapons. In the next few weeks, they'll be loaded with real bullets. Simon Ward in Bavaria for Central Tonight.